Springs Rescue Mission has been functioning COVID-19 free since the start of the outbreak back in March. Yeah, no one is saying it won't happen, but it shows prevention measures can work in what can be considered a high-risk situation at a homeless shelter. Bill Folsom looking into the COVID-19 plans and protocols tonight. COVID shows up mid-March in Colorado. We had to respond very quickly. Telling the homeless to stay home is not an option. We had difficult decisions to make. Um, unlike many organizations, we did not have the option to close down. Services here can't go online or video conference. They don't turn people away, so they have to have a plan. A good one. The Springs Rescue Mission is a place to sleep. They give meals, counseling, health, and job placement services. Hundreds served every day. It takes staff and volunteers. Uh, it's been hard. It's been really hard, um, but I'm really proud of our teams, um, and they've had to make courageous decisions. An immediate prevention plan went in place. Temperatures taken, education about symptoms, extensive sanitizing options, and face masks available. There's no room to space bunks, so sleeping arrangements were modified. We've been sleeping people uh, head to toe, toe to head, to try and encourage spatial distancing as best as we can. It's all been meticulously followed for nearly five months now. What's great today is that there have been zero cases at Springs Rescue Mission. Pleased, but not passive. Everyone remains on alert knowing a first case can happen. If symptoms are spotted, that person gets isolated quickly to prevent further spread. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.